based on the investigation that we have done on the heating of naphthalene, we obtain a graph like the one that you are seeing right now, and I would label, label them according to region AB, point B, region BC, point C, and region CD. Okay, so I would like to explain what happened at region AB. In region AB, initially, the state of the naphthalene is in solid state. All right. Look. So you look at AB starting from 60 degree. That's where the counting starts. And region AB we have solid state. And this is the moment where heat continuously providing its itself to transform the molecules into having kinetic energy. So all the molecules of naphthalene they gain kinetic energy due to the heat okay due to the heat the molecules gain kinetic energy and because in, in solid state the arrangement of the particles are very close together so they tend to vibrate within their fixed position they don't have much room to vibrate or move about so they can only vibrate in their own fixed position but as more heat is providing the molecule starts to break apart. This is where point B occurs. So at point B, you have a transition of solid and liquid because not all the arrangement has been completely broken. All right. So this is a transition where the heat provided is to overcome the forces of attraction. It's not to heat up the substance itself. Heat provided is required to overcome the forces of attraction. All right. So this occurs at region BC. B is the beginning of the breaking of the bond. All right. So here you will you will observe that the state of the naphthalene is in solid and liquid, a mixture of solid and liquid. The temperature will remain constant. If you notice the graph, it shows that it is at 80 degrees Celsius. All right. So this 80 degrees Celsius is what we call a melting point. During melting point, the heat provided is to overcome the forces of attraction. It's not to make the particles getting hotter. All right. So the temperature is not increasing. The heat provided is used to overcome the force of attraction. Just imagine in a room, uh, you have uh, 10 kids. All right, let's use a new page. Let's pass through this. Let's imagine in a solid, all these eight molecules are like kids. All right, kids tie with a rope. I am the evil person who tie them up with a rope. All right, so rope 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 there are ropes everywhere right so superman came superman represent heat superman only has 800 joule of energy so this heat energy is to cut the rope mr superman is cutting the rope that ties between the particles or the molecules all right so this is what we call overcome the forces of attraction after cutting, Superman has no more energy, so the molecules are not able to increase their temperature. Okay, because the only energy Mr. Superman has is to cut the rope. Imagine the, the requirement for each rope is 100 joule. So you have eight kids tied together, so that's all the energy being used up already. That's why you don't see any temperature increase at that point of at the point of a uh, state of mixture of solid and liquid. All right, so we don't see any changes of temperature. So that's region BC. All right, so this region is where you have a mixture of solid and liquid. You can pretty much say that this is a transition state. All right, this transition state and the melting point temperature is 80 
degrees Celsius. It's a melting point. Right? And there's a special name for this kind of heat. This kind of heat is called latent heat of fusion. So this latent heat of fusion is the heat required to overcome the forces of attraction of the solid, transforming it into liquid. Latent heat of fusion. You will learn this more in physics chapter 4, form 4 SPM, including the calculation. So now it's enough for you to know that this heat is to overcome the forces of attraction between solid in, in order to transform them into liquid. So after that, when more heat keeps on providing, keeps on being provided, then the temperature will start to increase again at the region of CD. Okay, so at point C, it has transformed to liquid completely. Okay, the breaking of bond process has completed. So the naphthalene is in liquid state fully, 100%. So region CD, you will see increase of temperature. There's an increase of temperature as you provide more heat. When you provide more heat, there's an increase of temperature until we stop the experiment itself at approximately 90 degrees Celsius.